Our first TED Talks talk speaker is Mr. Leo Fernandez. Leo is the CEO and co-founder of Talentees. He was the managing director with Accenture Singapore with a 20-year corporate career in leadership positions heading businesses in India and the Asia Pacific. Obama. Okay, final round. 
Amir Khan. Excellent. That's a hundred percent track record I have on that one. So that's Amir Khan. Mother Teresa. And Osama bin Laden. Now, why did I put up those slides? Uh, what I've always asked myself is what if Hitler's teacher knew that he was going to grow up and become Hitler? What could she have done differently during the lunch break, during interval, that would have saved the world a world war and saved six million lives? And that became our responsibility because we felt that a slanted sapling will become a slanted tree and you can't straighten the tree. So for us, we said there is clearly a skill gap. The children of today will grow up in a much, much, you know, a more permanent whitewater world than the one we live in. There is clearly a value gap. In India, we pay a lot of lip service to values and that's why you find the most number of men in the ladies special and uh, the women's section on our metros. So we said that the world we were, around, we were surrounded by, the India we live in, <coughs> is a place that we would love very much to improve. In 2017, 82% of the wealth created in the world went to 1% of the world's population. The bottom 50% received zero. In India, 73% of the wealth created went to 1% of India's population. And as Suresh hinted, many of the problems that we see around us, if you dig hard enough, it's a leadership problem. And therefore, we said we begin where leaders are made, in schools and homes. And we said we work with children on building their character, their competence, and their convictions. And uh, therefore, we call ourselves a little bit in the business of alteration of ladies and gents. <laughs> and uh, that we found both a very, very meaningful task and a very fulfilling one. So what are the skills that we work with children on? In fact, so many of the things that Suresh and Bhaskar mentioned. How do we get better at our communication, listening, collaboration, and we also said we would work on values. So values ranging from gratitude to kindness, respect for women. So in our classrooms today, even as I stand here speaking, the children learning what it takes to really collaborate, what it means to be kind, what real self-confidence means. And that's really what happens in the classrooms where Tanti's folk are busy as facilitators. Now how do we go about this? Five key things. The first, something that all of you as coaches could recognize, David Rock, one of your own family of coaches, speaks about how awareness must lead to insight that finally leads to action. And for us, that was the first pillar. The child must own the leadership journey. And therefore, the insight must belong to the child. So this is our endeavor in every session. The second, we said, and I remember uh, my dad telling us when I was a kid about the water hyacinths in the Kuom River, where the corporation would come and cut away the top on the Kuom River, for those of you who know it, would look less dirty. I couldn't call it clean. But in two weeks, they're all back. And I think for us, that parallel was that we needed to begin with beliefs before focusing on behavior. Very often, both as parents, as leaders, we tend to try and start with behavior. But behavior change is always temporary if it's not accompanied by belief change. And therefore that's the second focus. The third is a caring and committed team. So sure, we wanted people joining us who were competent, who uh, uh, knew how to facilitate, but most of all we were looking for people with hearts for children. As most of us know, children don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. The fourth was the discipline of doing. So we believe that you needed to consistently practice the skills and values. So we generally don't work with organizations that say come and do a one day workshop. And finally, what I would call the elephant and the mehout. What Jonathan Haidt, the psychologist, 
talk about the emotional brain versus the logical brain, where the elephant is the emotional brain and the mehout is the logical brain. So working with children, engaging with them emotionally. And therefore, we realized what I think is the change maker's dream through some of these, where children really embrace change and hopefully will retain that change for life. So our journey started with quite a few challenges. That's one of our early sessions where we were talking to parents about the program that we were doing. You can see how crowded the hall was. So we started from there, and I think today we've crossed 500,000 children in back sessions, over 5,000 principals, teachers, and educators, and over 50 schools, because we believe in going deep um, rather than wide. Thank you. So people ask me, has Calities been successful? And I say there's a big difference between successfulness and fruitfulness. We're a long way from the days where we will even touch the metrics of organizations like Nestle and Titan. But in some way, I think we've had a fruitful journey. And um, the biggest part of that has been our Like Lives work, where we work with low-income schools and orphanages free of charge to run exactly the same programs at the same quality. Just 10 days ago, 550 orphans in Bangalore across 12 orphanages graduated from the first year of our program. some of the light lights uh, impact. And I think I'll close by saying that India is the only country in the world where we have learned to cool two rooms with one air conditioner and a pair of trousers. And I think uh, that is our effort at Talent East. Can we successfully lead, uh, attain all the business metrics we want to, and at the same time, every single day, make a difference one child at a time. Thank you very much. You and a very happy new year to you and your loved ones. Uh, I, I do hope that all of you who have been coaching adults are going to crowd around me during the interval and lunch so that you can grow younger and start coaching some of my very young friends. Thank you all. God bless you.